Hi everyone, this is Nibiru Watcher, and I am giving you a very special update, so please pay attention. Um, <laughs> and to show you what you're going to see next, I got to show you this lens array. Again, for those that don't know what it is, it's something I discovered two years ago on July 7, 2017. You saw it here first, the lens array. That's what I call it because it's bending the light. It's hiding it, our incoming solar system like a Rochester cloaking field. Look how the circular objects, I'm going to try to explain these lenses here. It's an outer lens, inner lens, ultra-thin lenses made by GPL. I made other videos. Please go back and watch. So... As the sun passes in front, it cannot bend the light. It allows the red to leak through. That gives us the red lens petal effect. Look how we see these little rings of light, just like we see the, out, the double ring system here, just like we see the double lunar halo, or whatever they call that. Big lenses and smaller lenses. See the smaller lenses up here overlapping one another much proof of this but moving on from this lens array I want to point this out one of the biggest key things I want you to cat take away from this is that the red light cannot be filtered out from the lenses that gives us the red lens petal effect red is <clears throat> a very low frequency light that has a very large magnetic field the larger the wavelength, the longer the wavelength, the bigger the magnetic field, the shorter the wavelength, the smaller the magnetic field, and the sharper it can be bent by objects like ultraviolet will be sharply bent, while red almost goes straight through. That's why we see red. Okay? Need more on that? You got other videos on it. So, moving forward, check this out. We're going to show you something live on a live camera. This is a web camera in Amercy. Check this out. Let's go back just 10 minutes and watch what happens next. Wow. Folks, we just broke an all-time record for this red object that suddenly appeared. What do you think that is? <laughs> it's getting darker and redder. That's because there's a lens array out in space that allows only the red lights come through, creating this holographic-like image to suddenly appear. No joke, folks. I will leave a link, and you can check this out yourself. But here's the creepy thing about it. It's falling in the perfect timeline. According to the Dave Dobbs model, it's supposed to arrive September 17th. That's just three weeks from now. Yeah. Yeah. And the last time I caught this object on the same camera fell on the Dave Dobbs model. What is the Dave Dobbs model? Let's look at this. This is a snapshot. I'll play the whole thing, but just to show you on the model. <clears throat> so January 25th, 2017. You can trust me on that. We'll play that. With 200 days later, it's a 200-day orbit. Would put us at August 13th. That is an estimation, but it ain't over yet. And then the next one is March 1st. That's big because 200 days from that gives us September 20, September 17th, and that's the, what we're approaching next. Look at the past picture I caught on this object here. This was seven days or about eight days before the Dave Dobbs models would appear, this shows up, right? This is, again, I'll leave links in the description box. It's all here. That's why I know that we're approaching a great earthquake, like I said, between the days of September 9th to September 17th. Something big is shaking, folks. We had an 8.2 earthquake. Remember that? Not an ordinary 8.2, but a record-breaking depth of 560 kilometers deep. And then we had one in Peru, a 7.2, 600 kilometers deep. 
lifting up the entire continent of South America. Yikes. Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, so back to the lens array. This is over Lake Starnberg. At the same time, are we paying attention of the red object? Look at this. What do we have here? A huge shadowy object reflecting on the water. This is supposed to be the moon. The moon, right? Watch what happens next. My, oh my, Did, folks, you think that's a lens flare? No, that's a planet. They've been hide and seek. Why do you think the chemtrail clouds been cl clouding the skies every single day? Oh, this is spectacular footage here because Manny would say that this here is because of the lens array bending the light, shaping it to green, the focal point, so that we can't see it. Look at this uh, reflecting off the water. So that proves it's not a lens and it's not a lens ray. It's not a lens flare. Look, we can still see the object here. Yeah, folks, I've had disappearing moon footage. It's all there. Do your own research. Okay. If that ain't crazy enough, this is what we also saw from a different perspective. This is what's happening right now. Look, there's the reflected image on the water. You asked for it. You got it. Here it is. Here's the reflection on the water. Let's do the time lapse. Oh. Let's hit the time lapse button, folks. Is it on the lens? Because if it was, it wouldn't have moved. Why is it reappearing, disappearing? It's not on a spider web. Just a few feet out. I will leave links. Look at the chemtrail clouds. Look how they're flying in front of this thing, trying to hide this thing. Wake up, people, please. How about this? Let's do the time lapse on this one, right? The current image. What do you think would ever be cause a big red object to suddenly appear in the sky, appear and disappear? You think it's spotlights? No, it's not CERN. It's the lens array. Europe is going to probably see this thing first. Look at that. This is time lapse going backwards. Dave Dobbs is basically tied in not only this sighting of this same object every 200 days, but also tying it to huge things like the earthquake of 2011 every 200 days. September 17th. Red dust landing on that time frame. Pay attention, folks. Please pay attention. Landing on these dates. You can't emphasize enough. These objects spotted. On the perfect 200 day cycle. Whoa! It is slightly erratic orbit, but his, at, his predictions are about seven days. Becky Lewis saw this coming in. This is what we saw on the WSO channel, Dev Zobs. I made a video about this one. Red skies overhead. There again, there's a red twin tail object. You see that? It's at March 1st. So let's please copy, like, and share this video. Go check out Dave's Ob's trajectory. Nothing to see here. It's an awesome video. I'll leave a link in the description box. 
I'll see you at the Lord's Supper. Have a blessed day.